are so excited that you are here tonight. For those of you who may not know, my name is Tammy Floyd, and I am married to the most amazing pastor on the planet. I see you know him as well. On behalf of our family to you, we want to just say Merry Christmas, and we are so honored and privileged that you are here. Now, as you can tell, I have two little sidekicks with me. One is a little busier than the other. Um, this is my Owen, and this is my Faith. And Owen has a little something he'd like to say to you tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. We are very glad you're here. We always say his dad better watch out, because he's coming up. He's the next one, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah, he's sweet about it, too. Again, we're just so glad that you're here tonight. If you are a first-time guest, we are honored that you have chosen to be with us this evening during this busy and hectic time. As you came in tonight, you received a welcome guide. We would ask that during the service, you would just take a few minutes to look through that. And at the end of our time together tonight, your campus pastor will let you know what to do with that at the end of this evening. Well, we are excited tonight to celebrate the birth of our King during this exciting time of year. And before we continue, my other little half here would like to say one more quick thing.
to sing together with one voice. We took voices from all over this church, and for the first time ever, we've created a Life Point virtual choir. Together with one voice, we get to declare the truth that in this and every season, our God is with us. Even right now, at this moment, your kids are declaring this truth as well, that in this and every season, God, Emmanuel, is with us. Would you sing this with us? With one voice. The world has shaken.
Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. And he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room. Somebody say no room for them in the end. The time has come. There was no room for them in the end. The time had come. I think unintentionally in this season, uh, we can become like uh, the end. The busyness of the season can crowd in around us. The anxiety, the stressfulness, um, the going to things we don't want to go to, to hang out with people we don't want to hang out with, but they're family, so we got to go. <laughs> and we can begin to crowd out the very thing that this season is all about. And not volitionally or out of malice, but we can just unintentionally have no room for Jesus in our lives. And so I want us to sing that one more time and lift up um, our eyes and our hands in all of heaven's prize. And just maybe tonight we would in that push out for the next hour what has crowded in around us. That we could uh, push out a little bit the anxiety or the doubt or the loneliness or the busyness or the gift we've got to wrap or the party we've got to go to or what we've got to get done tomorrow or the next day before Christmas Day. And we would just push on that. Could we do that a little bit tonight? Could we just push on that? I believe our singing because the time has come. I believe the time is now. There's no better time than right now to lift up Jesus and to make room for his presence tonight. I believe over both of our campuses that God wants to speak to you and do something significant in your life. And so why don't we lift that up, man? And why don't we just push a little bit? Look at your neighbor and say, push. We're going to sing this and push some stuff out of our life. We're going to push some anxiety out of our life.
might as well have some fun. You might as well lift up Jesus, if you can't tell. Um, we've come to celebrate the name of Jesus. Um, he isn't just a baby in a manger. He's the Son of God who has the power to take away the sins of the world. Here's a man clue. And he's come to be with us, and love has been delivered to us. I just really believe tonight that there are many of you in the room, over both of our campuses, that you need to encounter the love of God in a personal way. And God has orchestrated the events of your life to land you in this moment. And he's going to reveal his love to you in a significant and impactful way, and it's going to change your life tonight. You may have come in expecting to just attend a Christmas service, but God had other plans. He's going to intersect your life tonight, and it's going to be a beautiful thing, as hundreds have already done tonight. Your life will never be the same. Do you believe that? Excellent. Well, why don't you high five uh, seven or eight people around you, tell them Merry Christmas, it's good to see them. Seven or eight. Keep count, seven or eight. Christmas. Um, we're so glad that you're here. 